Hey, so I'm going to do something different. I'm changing the setup today. Some of you may remember back in the day when the Food Network first started, they had a lot of these shows. They only had one camera and it was no, you know, editing or anything like that. They had one show, Molto Mario. Molto and Mario were here. He would be there and across from him would be a guest, you know, to taste his food and to chat with him. So I'm doing that. I'm coming from the side here, just like the, on, they did on that show. And here's my guest, my lovely wife, Donna. And uh, today I'm going to make a little sandwich for you, something different. Um, it's, it's a different take on a Reuben. It was inspired by a Reuben. I call it Reuben-esque, actually. So um, because you, we all know and we all know what the Reuben has in it. It's, you know, the corned beef and the Russian dressing and that nice slice of melted cheese and the, you know, and the, the, the uh, sauerkraut on it. So this is going to be kind of like that, but not really. What I'm making today, uh, this Reuben-esque, it, it's uh, based on a lot of the similar types of ingredients, but for the sauerkraut, we're gonna make an, a spicy Asian slaw. So the first thing I gotta start with is the uh, dressing for the slaw. So it's a three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, one and a half teaspoons of lime, um, a half a teaspoon of lime zest. This is a tablespoon of the ch of chili garlic sauce. It's a Southeast Asian sauce. You can find it in a lot of stores. It's usually, in a lot of the supermarkets even have it. It's usually in a little thing like this. Now that's the typical brand. I have a half a teaspoon of grated garlic. I have a teaspoon of grated ginger. We like to have that nice ginger flavor in there. A teaspoon of finely chopped basil and a teaspoon of uh, finely chopped mint. Then we've got a tablespoon of finely chopped cilantro. This is a half a teaspoon of toasted black sesame seeds and a teaspoon of toasted white sesame seeds. And so at this point, I'm going to hit it with salt. You got to give it a nice amount of salt. So how many more ingredients do you want to use? Just, uh, just a couple. Okay. Not too many. Not too many. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to whisk it up now to get the flavor into it. But what I need to, to do with it is... Um, Obviously, this it needs a little bit of oil, right? Because all it is right now, the liquid. So a little bit of oil. What we're going to do is hit it actually first with a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. And then we're going to finish it with, um, with uh, two tablespoons of peanut oil. Two tablespoons of peanut oil. Okay. Hit it with a little extra salt there. We want to make sure this thing has a decent amount of salt in it and then some freshly ground black pepper. Now, normally, if I was making this right, normally, if I was making this, I'd leave this for a while, okay. right? I'd leave it so that I could then uh, see how the flavors melted together. Maybe I need to correct something, correct the salt or something. Um, we're not going to do that today. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how the rest of this comes together. I don't like chop. Yeah, that's true. Uh, now, I hate chopping a whole bunch of different types of things. It's a pain. So what I did is I went into the store. Actually, she went to the store. And we got a package of store-bought Asian slaw, already chopped up, washed, ready to use. Okay, so this is a combination. It's got some cabbage in it. It's got some carrots, various things. What it doesn't have is anything like onion or green onion. So I like to add that. I'm just going to slice some green onion on the bias like this. So I get some nice long slices and you'll see what you'll notice is I'm actually I'm using both the white part and the green part. I want to use the whole thing in this and get that nice flavor and texture in there. OK, so I've made some up before. There's about oh three or four of the uh, 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 green onion stalks in there and then I just toss it around. OK. So like I said, normally you'd leave it for a while and then you'd um, uh, check it, make sure it was okay, get the flavors blended and then throw this, the uh, veggies in. I just did it straight. It works this way too, but, you can't, but it's not usable the way it is right now. Okay. It still does have to sit and those flavors have to get in the slaw. So I made some earlier this morning and I'm going to show you how the sandwich, the Reuben S comes together. Here's the strange ingredients. That was the start, right? No sauerkraut, no rye bread. Okay, I got ciabatta. I got ciabatta bread. I am in a nod to, uh, to the um, Reuben, not corned beef actually, but it's kosher pastrami. And so I'm gonna use some kosher pastrami. Um, this is a Swiss cheese. It's not Swiss cheese, it's a Gruyere. 
So we're going to put the Gruyere here. And then we take some of the slaw. This is the one I made this morning. This is just about an hour ago, I guess. Now it's got the nice flavors in it and everything. Great texture. Okay. And then I'm just going to put it back together like this. And it's going to go in my panini press. Do you have to have a panini press? No, you don't have to have a panini press. You can use a, a cast iron griddle. You could use a plain, a regular pan. You just got to press down a little bit on it. You'll have to flip it. In this case, I'm not going to have to flip it. That's going to take about three or four minutes. I don't want you to have to wait that long, and I don't want her to have to wait that long. So I made one just before we started recording. You get the bigger half. Give that a taste. Crunchy. Mm. You can hear the crunch. What do you think? Really tasty. Since I don't like sauerkraut, <laughs> and then I'm getting some of that scallion and the citrus yep. in here. Yeah, it's very bright. It's very light. It's very bright. It's got a little heat. The heat mm -hmm. sort of builds on you too, doesn't it? You mm -hmm. pick that up. So that's it. That's Rubenesque. She's drinking wine. I'm going to come join her and have some wine and give this a shot, you know, maybe for your Super Bowl party. You never know. Might work well. Thanks, everybody.